Family, how you doing? This is Kent. I'm an addict. Family. Cult. Cultured spirits. We try to remember that when we make amends, we are doing for ourselves. That's step nine, and we're going to be going over that today as well. As long as we still owe amends, our spirit and clutter with things we don't need. We carry the extra load of apologetic owned and resentment held and unprecedented remorse. It is like hiding a messy house. We could have so, so we don't have to see the mess, or maybe just step over the piles of debris and pretend they aren't there, but ignore the disorder that make it disappear in the end and the dirty dishes and the crumb filled carpet and the overflowing waste baskets and still there willing to be cleared up. A cluttered spirit is just as hard to live with a messy house. We always seem to be tripped over yesterday's leavings. Even time to turn around and turn and go somewhere. There is something blocking the path. The more we neglect the responsibility to make amends, the more we clutter our spirits become. And we can't even hire someone to clean up. We have to do the work ourselves. We gain deep sense of satisfaction for making our amends, just as we would feel after the cleanse and homes and have time to enjoy a bit of sunshine, though sparkling windows, so we will our spirits rejoice from freedom, truly enjoy our recovery, and once the big mess is cleared up. All we have to do is pick up after ourselves as we go along. It will clearly clear away that's cluttering my spirit by meaning the amends by making the amends I owe. It's very important that we make amends, but there's two types of amends that we have to understand. There's direct amends where you go to the person and say, I'm sorry, I apologize for that, uh, please forgive me. And by that token, you can't take any responsibility for what they say or what they do, because some will accept it and some won't. So you have to understand that, that there is a plan and a purpose for that. So, now, step seven through eight are all about reconcil reconciling to others. Okay? That's what it's about. Step seven is we humbly ask God to remove our shortcomings. So, step eight. We humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings. In six, we made a list of all our character defects. And in seven, we ask him to remove it. Step eight, we made a list of all persons we had harmed. That no matter what harm we did, whether it was great harm or small harm or medium harm, it doesn't matter. Whatever harm we did, we have to make amends to that. And our step four will take us through nine. Because what we put in four, and this is why it's so important that we do a proper step four, is that four takes us through five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and shows us where we get this stuff. 
okay? So, step nine is we may direct amends to such people wherever, wherever possible except when to do so, when it's your them or others. Now, them or others refer to yourself, okay? So, if it's going to be detrimental to you to go to a drug dealer or a uh, biker or, you know, somebody else of that caliper, well, then don't do it. Send them a letter, okay? If you have them on Facebook, send them an email, okay? Send them an email. That's another way to do it. So, there's so many ways that we don't have to put ourselves in jeopardy. May God bless and keep you until we meet again.